Hello, I'm Robert and I make videos using stop motion. Stop motion is a process that can be described quite simply. First, take a picture of an object. Move the object slightly, and then take another picture. Do this over and over, and when you are done, play your sequence of pictures at a fast pace, and boom, you get a movie. Of course, this is just a basic outline of the process. In this video, I will show you my process of making a single shot of animation, from pre-production, to production, to post-production. Here we go. Before any filming is done, I need a plan. Because many of the shots I do are part of a larger project, the creative process begins with a script, or a detailed outline of the story and what will be shown on screen. Once I write the script, the next step is to make a storyboard. The storyboard provides a visual reference for how I want the final movie to look, and helps me decide the order in which I want to shoot certain shots. With these tools in hand, we are ready to enter production. The production stage has begun. But before I take any pictures, I need a set, or a stage on which my action is going to take place. Since I primarily make LEGO animations, I build my set with pieces from my LEGO collection. It's a good idea to build your set with your camera on, so that you only build what you will see in the final animation. Now that our set is ready, we can finally start animating. Here is the shot I'm about to animate. In the luscious jungle just outside Arrow Point's border, Steve, a young man hungry for adventure, jumps into frame and shoots an arrow from a bow. The trickiest part of this shot is going to have Steve jump, because obviously we can't photograph a LEGO guy floating in the air. But what we can do is prop Steve up using a support system, which we can digitally remove in post-production. I'll demonstrate this later. Another thing I want to include in the shot is a string connecting from the bow to the arrow that he fires. To do this, I'm going to shoot the string separately and shake it with my hand to give it a motion blur effect. And boom, after an hour or so of work, the shot is complete. Well, it's a bit messy, but that's okay because there's one more step left. After I finish animating, I import my image sequence into a visual effects program. The arrow I just dropped into this shot was actually made in a 3D animation program called Blender, which is a free program you should definitely check out if you think you might be interested in 3D animation. Once I finish animating the arrow, my next step is to digitally remove the supports under Steve's legs. I do this by masking them with other frames in which the supports do not show. In a similar fashion, I add in the animation of the string and mask it so that it connects the bow to the arrow. With that, the visual effects are complete. Now all I have to do is import the animation into an editing program, add some sounds, and the shot is complete. Stop motion animation is a tough and time-consuming skill, but with time and lots of practice, you will make fewer and fewer mistakes and you will get through shots a lot quicker. Plus, as you become a professional animator, you will learn great skills in writing, photography, visual effects, editing, and even marketing. If you want to tell larger-than-life stories, but don't have a large budget, then animation, whether it's stop-motion, two-dimensional, or three-dimensional, might be something worth trying out. 